There was great anticipation at Harold's Cross on Friday night ahead of the big night of the year, which featured, of course, the final of the Dublin coach juvenile derby. A top class lineup was assembled, although the hot favourite was Trap 6 JT Dutch. And so the runners now parading for the final of the Dublin coach juvenile derby. First up in one, he Haw Sheriff. This son of tired Big Mike and Come On Quiva, trained by Ian Riley for Kieran Burke. Blistering early speed, perfectly drawn on the fence, and a very likely leader. In two, Black Alder, another dog with massive early speed. He's owned by Peter Comerford and Tony Moore, the son of 0-10 and Alan Harbour. He may need to lead Hee Haw Sheriff in the early yards, but that's possible. Three is Anopheles, trained by Liam Dowling for Javier Jarn, a powerful son of Dubi Scalari and Bally Mac Razzle. He'll be motoring down the far side. He'll need a little bit of luck in running. The same could be said for Trap 4, Trade Freddy, owned by John Toohey and Len Toohey, a member of a very fast litter, this son of bombastic Shiraz and Trade Annika. One win from seven. He'll be an outsider to make it two from eight. Five is Skywalker Archie, a talented son of top savings and cover of Fifi, trained by Pat Gilfoyle for Ray Patterson. Massive pace from start to finish, although he need to be at his very sharpest here. And out in six, your deserving favourite, JT Dutch, trained by Paul Hennessy for John Turner, son of Juby Scalari and Chin Gok Gook. He's won seven of his 11 starts and he's a warm favourite to make it eight from 12. He's ideally drawn if he hits the lids. And there's the bell, the runners, one Hee Haw Sheriff, two Black Alder, three Anopheles, in four Trade Freddy, five Skywalker Archie, and six is JT Dutch there, coming up behind traps. Away they go, and a good start by four in the middle, Trade Freddy leads to the opening turn, up the inside two, Black Alder and one Hee Haw Sheriff, on the corner, traffic problems for six, JT Dutch and it's Hee Haw Sheriff, goes clear into the back from two Black Alder, then comes three Anopheles and four Trade Freddy, one, two, three, four at present, now JT Dutch going into fourth, but it's still one Hee Haw Sheriff, here comes three Anopheles, we saw this race last week, it's Hee Haw Sheriff, here comes Anopheles, on his outside, coming to the line, it's going to be tight, Anopheles, a derby double, for Liam Dowling. He won the Boyle Sports Derby with Bally McMatt. He's won the Juvenile Derby with Anopheles. He got up in the final strides to deny he Haw Sheriff. JT Dutch ran a hell of a race back in third, but no doubt about the winner. Anopheles in 28-84. And result of the final of the 2015 Dublin Coast Juvenile Derby. The winner was three Anopheles for Liam Dowling, Javier Jarn. Second was one he Haw Sheriff. And back in third was six JT Dutch, the winning time, 28-84. Yeah, it's been brilliant, Michael. Look, I suppose at the start of the year, if you told us, listed off the couple of competitions we've won, I'd say not in a million years, but look, come here, we're taking it as it comes, and we're not going to get carried away. Look, we just look look forward to the next week, and we've had a great bit of luck this year, and, and do you know what? It's it's great to get it, and you have to, you have to do you know, sometimes you have great owners like Javier here, and... Do you know, it's, it's brilliant for them people to get over the line and keep things going. Absolutely. Isn't it phenomenal? So <laughs> the, the age of that dog and the, the performance, you know, just all the, and, you know, as, as, as you said in the programme, you know, it improved every run yeah. and uh, it came off tonight, so it's a fabulous success story. You're happy as Dublin coach, sponsors of the Puppy Derby? Well, how appropriate could it be? We just started a new Dublin coach service to Tralee, so what's more fitting than to, br <laughs> than to bring the Puppy Derby to Tralee? <laughs> We kind of knew what we had with this pup from a very young age and to be fair he was given some of the dogs in this final six months and I suppose you'd say it'd have to be against him but we, we gave him a small squeak, we had a small few quid in him but uh, just for a bit of interest but yeah look he's a super dog and he can only get better with age. Absolutely it was a wonderful race again tonight and I'm sure five disappointed finalists and one absolutely ecstatic finalist and what a wonderful year for the Dowlings. Uh, you know, that on top of the Boyle Sports Derby has been phenomenal. And, uh, you know, the whole field there, any one of them were eligible to collect the token tonight. And, you know, you, our sympathies to those that didn't win it and our congratulations to Dowlings. We'll give him a look at Shelburne now, maybe in the coming weeks, just to get him used to it and stuff like that, because that's where he will be going eventually. Would he be, would you consider the comfort cakes? Um, you know, my father isn't shy of running them, you know. You're Have saying. dog, will run. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, we'll see how it goes. Look, we'll, uh, obviously, we'll just see how he is tomorrow and get him checked. We won't take anything for granted and we'll see how we go and he'll tell us himself, the dog.